Atlantic's Tidal Wave Variable Speed Controller, or VSC, turns any of the eight Atlantic TT series pumps from the TT1500 to the TT9000 into a Bluetooth controlled variable speed pump. Varying a pump speed can be very useful. Slowing or stopping the pump at night or when no one is home can save wear and tear on the pump and greatly reduce electrical costs. Users can change the appearance, quality of sound and noise level of water features at will. Fountains can be adjusted without valves by varying pump flow to fountain nozzles to adjust their height or width. Pond owners may like to turn pumps off for feeding the fish so that they don't lose their food to a skimmer or for skimmer or pump maintenance. But the Atlantic VSC offers an advantage over typical expensive variable speed pumps. Unlike integrated units with built-in speed control, where any failure of pump or controller renders everything non-operational, our variable speed controller operates separately from the pump. Any problem with one won't affect the other. The sealed module has an LED light in front to indicate when the unit is on standby or in operation. The indicator light shines blue when the unit is plugged in and on standby, verifying a powered connection. It turns green when the unit is actively controlling a pump. A weatherproof output port on the bottom opens to reveal the pump connection outlet and cord retention clip. Installation couldn't be simpler. The rugged weatherproof housing has two mounting slots on the back to mount the module outdoors. You'll need two screws and a piece of masking tape not included with the unit. Use exterior grade galvanized drywall screws or the equivalent in stainless steel for best results. The unit should be mounted on a wall or post near your pump or water feature. Make sure the post is within reach of the pump cord and the VSC cord is within reach of a standard 120 volt electrical outlet. Place a piece of tape over the two keyhole slots on the back of the variable speed control. Then make two holes in the round part of the keyhole with a pen or screw. Before setting the unit on the screws, open the weatherproof output port on the bottom to reveal the pump connection outlet. Remove the cord retention clip and plug the pump into the output port. Then replace the cord retention clip to secure the pump cord. Snap the door back on to keep out weather and the insects. Remove the tape and place it, with the holes level and centered, on the wall or post. Set each screw in the center of each hole and drive them almost all the way in, leaving about an eighth of an inch space between the screw head and the post. Slip the unit over the screws and pull it down to snug it into place. Plug the VSC into a standard 120 volt outlet and voila! The control module is installed. The TWVSC is controlled by the Atlantic Control app. Download the application from the appropriate store, then open it and allow Bluetooth access. Search for the device and choose Tidal Wave VSC. Log in the first time with the default numerical password 12345678. You won't need to log in with the password again unless you change it. To change the password or to rename the particular TWVSC, click the three dots at the top right, go to Login Settings, put in your new name and or password, up to eight numerical digits, then click the Save button. You can set a unique name and password for any number of VSCs to individually control multiple water features. To adjust pump output, Use the up and down arrows to adjust the flow in 10 increments, 1 through 10, with 100% flow at 10 and the flow reduced to 30% at the lowest setting of 1. To set the timer to program up to 3 periods in 24 hours, select the green power button for each time start and stop. Use the plus and minus buttons to set the level from 1 to 10. Set the timer selections then click on the Save button at the bottom of the screen. For a seamless transition between power levels, set the end time of one period to the start time of the next to change the power level without shutting off the pump. To pause the pump temporarily, 
to feed fish or service the skimmer, use the customizable pause button between the up and down arrows. Press the button and select the time between 5 and 30 minutes. Click on OK to pause the pump. The pump will resume the last flow level after the custom pause time has elapsed. If the pause happens to overlap a preset start time, then that start will be skipped and the pump will require a manual start. For your convenience, the same Atlantic Control app also controls Atlantic color changing lighting and the Atlantic Triton Ionizer, providing an all-in-one solution for your smartphone or mobile device on both Apple and Android platforms. And that's everything you ever wanted to know about installing the Atlantic Tidal Wave Variable Speed Control, but were afraid to ask. Check out our other videos for more information on this and all our products. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share us on social media. See you in the next video.